hi guys welcome back to my channel I am back with another fragrance video today I am going to review two perfumes from the house of Chanel you guys know that it is absolutely no secret that I love my Chanel fragrances recently in my top picks for summer I spoke about Gabrielle by Chanel as well as Coco Mademoiselle this fragrance is a fragrance that I love and use very often first up I'm gonna talk about Coco Noir by Chanel so Coco Noir by Chanel to me is like the very sultry seductive sexy sister of Coco Mademoiselle this screams date night, this screams romance and candlelight dinner. The top notes in this fragrance are Jasmine Absolute, Rose Absolute and Vanilla Bourbon. Vanilla makes another appearance because you guys know it's one of my favorite notes in my fragrances. So this perfume as far as projection lasts pretty much all day long and you will smell yourself throughout. I mean it does not fit whatsoever. I think that this fragrance is totally appropriate for like I said earlier nighttime date night type of vibe because it's just a, a lot warmer than say the Coco Mademoiselle this one is the 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces and it retails at $135 I think the best price for most Chanel fragrances are about that price unless you're going for like a gigantic bottle or something whenever you're not in the girly carefree type of mood and you want something a little more serious so this is classified as floral and of course from everything I've said already you can tell that I absolutely love this fragrance and totally recommend it for that you know that special kind of moment the special occasion so again this is Coco Noir by Chanel. The next one is a fragrance that has been in the fragrance community for a very long time. This was first released in 1921. Yeah, you heard that right. So this is an all-time classic fragrance. And then, in case you care about it, it was recreated in 1986. So it has been on the market for a very long time. Some people consider this to be a very mature scent, a very mature fragrance. But honestly, I think this fragrance is a perfect fragrance for, for a classy woman who is about her business, on the go, a woman who gives you boss chick realness. So it's more of a powdery floral. It definitely dries down to a more powdery feel. The composition of this fragrance is jasmine, neroli, and sandalwood. It also has some vanilla bourbon in there. You know, I stick to what I like for the most part, and as you can see, the notes are very repetitive in my perfume. So Gabrielle and Coco Mademoiselle, I think the base notes that I'm attracted to in those scents is um, the orange blossom or the orange, and patchouli, of course. At the end of the day, I would say that number five is for the no-nonsense type of woman. She definitely has places to be and she is all about her business. This fragrance definitely could be worn during the day. This is a on the go, I'm going to work, I have a serious board meeting. So this is really for the confident woman. Not an arrogant woman, but a confident woman who is very, very sure of herself and she knows what she's about. So um, again, this is number five by Chanel. What do you think about the Chanel fragrances, especially number five and Coco Noir? Have you tried them and what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye!